to Patches 53 on the road. Today I want to tell you the story of meeting Alain Antonietto. You can look at the interview I did with him on the island at Samoa 2010. I met him in 2004 um, just beside the big tree in front of uh, in front of the stage to the left that's his spot and first of all who is this guy? Historian of Django. Met Django's uh, sister two years after Django died and got involved in the, in the family and uh, historian of that beautiful music he owned of course Busato Django's Busato and many many it's a museum anyway I bought this book in 2004 in Samoa it's like the big tree there the, the boot was right there and I turned as soon as I bought the book, I turned and Alan was right there. So uh, I approach him and I asked him to sign the book and he wrote in French for Patrick, one of the great collector of Gypsy Jazz, Samoa, June 28, 2004. I was telling him that I got lots of his recording thanks to Ted Gottsagen, Michael Drangney, uh, Scott Wise uh, in the US. I got all those rare recordings that he did back in the 60s uh, with Jacques Montagne, La Rosolero, uh, uh, Piton Renard. Very hardcore, very rare stuff. Got all those recordings. Help with a friend in the US, Jim Noyes, I think his name. I'm not sure the pronunciation. And he read remaster all because those were all in cassette and all remaster and uh, cut all the track and I said to him I said I got all those recordings so he's like oh so he wrote his address right in the book there that I just purchased and he asked me to send him this uh, those recording and since then uh, we communicate via letter he's not no computer only phone it took me, what, I don't know, two or three years to get his phone number, but eventually I was not asking, but he gave it to me. So phone and a letter. Let me tell you, I was expecting so much recording from him, but I got two famous cassette. I didn't expect, I was expecting more cassette, but I got some uh, something that I didn't expect and I'm grateful for that it's his letter I mean once a month at least you get one of those we don't have this in Canada those brown envelope from France and I'll give you the two example of the last letter they gave me uh, with those drawing and this one is uh, the silent fiddler <laughs> and the other one is you know this kind of letter you know somebody that's drinking and playing with a red nose always something to get his ladder. Uh, the other thing he's giving me is all those clipping. He like to clip magazine from France. All those wine magazine that I don't have here. And you get a stack of those. And the other thing I didn't expect to get from him is Django's photo. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe five, six years ago I started putting those picture of Django together and to put them in order basically but help by Alain uh, and then help by the Facebook guy that lots of people know Teddy Dupont from England uh, that guy knowledgeable the most knowledgeable in the world I would say with Alain of Jingles um, Teddy uh, met I mean his dad and his mom they're both still alive uh, saw Django tour in uh, England in, in 1938. So since then, and his dad is a fanatic of Django, and it's much more later that I think in 50. Mm, you will correct me. Anyway, uh, Teddy fall in love much later with Django, but with all the collection of his dad and so forth. So, help between Alain and Django created that book with 550 picture that maybe will never be released. I don't think it will ever be released with all the right. But it was a fun book to make, uh, just for friend, just for a couple copy here and there. And uh, 
yeah, meeting Ale was special. I, uh, it was fun to, to meet him and Michel Mercier and uh, Teddy from England and Paris back in 08, I think. Um, 73 years old and he still, he doesn't look, he doesn't look, he doesn't look maybe 60 at the most. Um, such a nice guy, he shares so much uh, and that's, that's our turn now. Thank you, Alain. I know you will never see this, but maybe I'll send you a DVD. But thank you for everything you did for Django and his family. And like I always say, keep listening to the music of Django or other classic like, finally, that's playing Lulu Renard and Rigel Wisterstein from Germany, the old classic hardcore from Germany that I love so much. And I hope to meet those guys in Samoa this summer. I forgot, maybe you want to know what was a tour recording. This one, it's Boulou Ferré, 1965. Uh, with Boulou, with Alain à la pompe, of course, and La Rosolero. And Michel Ferry. Michel Ferry is not very known. It's one of the other brother of Blue and Elias Ferry. Who else is on there? 1965. I think it's La Chope des Puces, Opus. The other one, two recording, side one, 20 track of Moreno in 1994, 95 when he visited Alain at his house. The other recording, nobody gets it. I asked permission to give it to David Renard, that's the only one who got another copy. Because it's Babic with Babic Renard of course with Christian Scoudé, Dorado Schmidt, the last recording of Babic before he left us. That's in 2001, that uh, recording. And like I say here, only for you, do not copy Red. But I ask him and I copy to David. Right now.